Seaside Cave. Of course, said. But the Seaside Cave, did he not? And, uh, who does I know? But there are trainers in my way. Like you. <sighs> oh, damn. Interruptions. I mean, I haven't even got a chance to say hey everyone, Tony and Care back and I'm Tony's Pokemon White 2 Adventure episode on the last episode. Fucking blue shard. Suck my ass. On the last episode, we um, took on the Hul. Yeah. Hul. Hul. Why can't I pronounce it now? I fucking said it earlier. Humala. And probably is still not even correct pronunciation of it anyway. Still, so we took on the gym, we formed Marlin, we got our eighth and final bench. We explored Route 22 briefly, obviously, just to check on things. Found the Turrican. Turrican. As you've gathered, I suck at saying words. And also, I missed an item. Shit. Okay, well, nevertheless. Um. And yeah, we progressed down to Route 21, and then came here to the sea, or in this episode, this is where we are now, inside the Seaside Cave. So that was pretty much the entirety of what happened last time, pretty much crappily as I can explain it. And yeah, there's, oh fuck, I forgot, oh fuck it. Fuck, 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 fuck. How many fucks can I throw into this fucking sentence right this fucking now? Fucking greetings! my damn list. I haven't seen that thing in a long time. I need to add a hair across to that, because I forget that hair crosses are dicks. <sighs> fucking uses some stupid ass move that fucking takes out tech no fucking problem. And all I have to do is one stupid little close combat and fucking uh, Flannery goes down. I know she sucks ass anyway, but come on. God damn it. Whatever. Obviously, as you witnessed, and I'm not gonna be able to dodge this guy, am I? Oh, I am. Sweet. Yeah. Shit. Sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, so obviously, if you go back out where you came from in the Seaside Cave, obviously, before that doctor, uh, and obviously, you can heal up the Pokemon. Anyway, hmm? My Ragnar Roller and I have been waiting for a strong trainer like you. If you want to pass, you must be my Ragnar Roller and me. Can you defeat our rock hard will? And the, uh, yeah, sure, sure. So, pointless battle. Honestly. What is the purpose of said battle, you may ask? Well, very if you want a quick way to get back to Andela Bay. Not that I don't, not that I see any need to. Uh, especially, but if you want to, then... Actually, no, it's not bad, because obviously you can go to Ondela Town and stock up on items and whatnot, so, I guess. So if you want to do what I said, then obviously, there's a reason to fighting this guy. Who apparently wouldn't have fought us before because we weren't strong enough, but now that we're only a few levels higher than what we were before, I could... I don't know, I might have to check that video back in, uh, when we were exploring, because we obviously, I did show this off. Like, I showed off the the cave and before, and he said, like, oh, we're not strong enough, so. I want to see what level my Pokemon were at, at the time, just so that I can then be like, yeah, I only grew, like, a couple of levels, maybe. 
Nah, I don't know. Whatever. I want to do something stupid. Ah, uh, Rock and Roller wants to be an asshole as well, it seems. We're fine. Let me do my stupid thing. Yeah, there we go. Let me do another stupid thing. Mm-hmm. Rock and Roller is going to be an ass again. I think you can see now why I never bother to commentate over just regular trainer battles, because what is there to say? My life is boring, there is nothing ever interesting about it, otherwise I would just be commenting like I am now, saying, here I am, I'm going to use a razor shell on this Ragnar Roller. I used a razor shell on this Ragnar Roller. It was a critical hit, the Ragnar Roller painted. I got 637 experience. He's gonna send out another Ragnarola. He sent out the other Ragnarola. I used her. He was super effective. And he hanged on because of his stupid sturdy. He used a dickish move. I just fainted from it somehow. I don't know why. It makes no fucking sense. But apparently it does. Whatever. Anyway. Then I'm gonna send out Flannery. Why? Because I'm an idiot. Why? Because, okay, fucking great. Take off what? About 46 of my fucking HP? See, I'm just gonna be a dick for the hell of it. Actually, I know what really bugs me about that Heracross fight, or the fight that involved Heracross, but the fact that Flannery used... Or Flannery would have killed it with Fire Fang had Heracross not avoided the attack. Which, again, really makes no fucking sense, considering the fact that, uh, it was paralyzed? And really, you think a Pokemon that's paralyzed wouldn't be able to dodge an attack? As such, in sense, in words, and where the fuck am I supposed to go? It's so obvious, and yet I'm an idiot. Down this way. Jeez. And so tempted to, fine. Since I don't want to fight that black belt. Let's instead fight a... Seal? No, it's a Dugon! Duh. It's almost as if they're the same Pokemon. I mean, yes, they're the same evolution line, obviously, but I mean, it's almost as if there was hardly any creation put into their evolution. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have done it. Oh, well. Anyway, in this little island here, we get a heart scale. I want to see what's down this way, but first, I need to... Do that. Do this. And then do this. So what's this way? Nothing? Yeah, nothing. So yeah, hope you brought a Pokemon and no surf. <laughs> of course you did. Otherwise you wouldn't have been able to reach this area, obviously. Anyway, we've got two pathways it seems. One leading up, which is the exit actually, because obviously that's where we need to go. And I was leaning down. Let's go down, because why the hell not? I mean, hell. If I can't be asked to, uh, fight some trainers, then, uh, I can do it anyway, because I don't have a Pokemon at no strength. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Who am I gonna end up having to sacrifice a decent move to in order to learn strength? Well, it seems every- oh no, not everyone. Zora can- Princess can't, but everyone else can. I'm trying to remember, where the fuck's the movie deleter again? Because I swear they switched about before, uh... Is this still in the Striden City? Just sworn it's where he was last time. Or she, whoever. Mm, okay, I'm gonna give it to... Uh, tech. I'm gonna give it a Psychic. P.S. I taught Tech Psychic off screen. And then I'm gonna find the move deleter after this and get rid of it and then reteach it Psychic. Since obviously, luckily enough, 
TMs aren't disposable pieces of crap, but like they were in previous generations. So, now we can do this. His strength made it possible to push. But how? It just makes no sense. Is he pushing alongside us, or what? Whatever. We got a max repel. Thanks. We could've just got a sieve away, but still. So now it's done. There's a freaking... Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, just push that in there, I guess. Push that in there. Push that in there. Hell off. Let's put another one on. Boring commentary is boring. Now up. Up and down and all around. Yep, and then just that. A pretty easy-ish strength puzzle. Not really one I would see you failing on, hopefully. And we got a free rare candy out of it. Great. I don't think I've used any rare candies as of yet. I'm gonna check to waste more of your time. Let's see. Have I... No, I have five of them. I just want to have six. Hmm. Whatever. Can we escape this black belt or is he an unavoidable? Okay, he is dodgeable. Yeah, I'm just not really in the mood to do a bunch of freaking trainer battles. If worse comes to worse and I have to freaking grind and so be it, but I highly doubt it. Okay, maybe a bit, but nevertheless, we get TMO6 Toxic. Don't forget to pick that up. Just jump over this, and then we're back here. And right here, we get a calcium. Hmm? Gotta drink that milk. Okay, now, use the call rest machine on the big border? <laughs> that sounds. I, I mean, if I had a nickel for every time someone said that to me, it, it would be useless because we don't use nickels in England, so I would have a bunch of useless money. So let's just use it. Oh, and it's attacking me. Oh no. The pathetic cry from a level 42 female cluster. Can I run? Of course. I could afford it, but why not? And the crawling machine broke. Great. Fucking great. Almost as if it was designed for that sole purpose and that sole purpose only. Anyway, we're still here on Route 21, but wh what? What's this? This doesn't look good. Looks like we're gonna have to find out next time on Tongi's Pokemon White 2 Adventure Episode. See you guys then! <laughs>
Very well, let's go on this beach. I'm doing it all wrong. Let's go. Take care of that guy. He's no problem for you, right? You! You must be friends of Smiley Swimsuit. That guy who lowered the gangplate. Ah! He even got the roadblock crustle out of the way. Here I come. Plasma! point of using that button pass? I don't know. Anyway, oh no, the hatch is still open. Huh? What? Huh? Okay, this time we'll check out the ship. When we were in Drift Isle City, Zinzling came from this direction. This is the place. Okay, I'm going in. Who are you? Just to let you know. You're about to feel my rage! sure every single Pokemon they had could basically knock out <laughs> Matt's uh, uh, starter. Fuck it. I forget what it's called. I forget a lot of shit, it seems. Like how things, names of things, it seems. Sir, Sirloin. That's, no, Sirvine. Sirvine? No, that's the second stage one. Superior, that's it, jeez. I mean, I had one as a fucking, I chose it as my starter in Pokemon White 1, so. Jesus. But obviously I nicknamed it, and I forgot what its name, original name was. <sighs> Whatever, anyway. No, don't need to. Anyway. In case I weren't paying attention. The, we need some passwords in order to get past the uh, electrical barricade as such. Anyway, near the... Bow of the ship? Is, is that the correct term? I don't know. Anyway, you get a revive. And. Actually, it's up to you. <sighs> oh, that? Oh, mommy, I don't want to join Team Rocky. <sighs> Looks like he's asleep. And. Okay. Well, anyway. There is one very important item here, for me, anyway, and it's right over here, and it is TM65 Retali, yeah, yeah. It, it, that's not it, I could have sworn that wasn't supposed, that was supposed to be the other thing, okay, obviously I'm an idiot and totally wasn't paying attention to shit, but whatever, anyway, again? Wait, no need to be suspicious. This uniform is just a disguise. I'm ex-Team Plasma. What I am now is a spy. To guard against anything bad they may cook up. It might be a hard job to keep an eye on your former allies. Say, you don't know anything about a Perline stolen in Aspersia, do you? S sorry, but I don't know anything about that. That's what I figured. I wouldn't expect someone from a group bent on world domination to be all that quick on the uptake. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, but I also wanted to save Pokemon. Yeah, d don't worry. Okay, it's not your fault. It's just Matt. He's a he's a bit of a dick. Anyway, sneak into the bedrooms. It seems. 
Oh, you are a trainer. We, Team Plasma, in case you didn't know from, you know, the, the logos, the giant ship, and what have you, and the, the frightening music, ooh. Anyway, we will rule the universe region. For that purpose, hand over your Pokemon to me. Guys, remember earlier when I was like, ah, I give it a psychic so I can teach it strength, so I can do that strength puzzle just to get a rare candy and some other item that I've already forgotten. Well, it turns out, a psychic would have been a really good move to use at this point in time, considering we're fighting a lot of poison type Pokemon. Especially Weezings who are affected by ground type moves because they levitate. Yeah. Anyway, since this guy lost, I accept his defeat and give, and give us a hint, teams. The first number is seven. Can I rest in any of these beds? No. Any beds at all. Oh, shit. Anyway, I'll just... Seven. First number is seven. Anyway, I'll just get past you. Go to the opposite side. I don't want to fight anyone else, because I'm... Oh, shit. Can I at all heal? Okay. Well. Because right now my team is really in trouble. Okay, shit. Get in there quick. Oh, come on. Fine. Let's go around you. Oh, thank fuck. So, uh, bottom right hand room. You can get a nice little rest. Oh, and, uh, yeah. All good times to be had. So, what, who do I have out? Okay, no. And there we go. Okay. So, now let's do this. Wh what? What the fuck? I'll say just... Okay, this is... See, this would be the point where... Okay. Are you new here? Okay, so these weren't... Okay, so... Game Freak trolled me into thinking that they were going to engage me in a double battle, but okay. Whatever. Let's just fight this broad. Okay, well not the middle room then. Because earlier I said, you know, bottom right hand room, you can heal up. Okay, is this a double bell then? What do you want, intruder? If you if you can beat me, I'll give you a hint about the password. A password is a numeric code. <laughs> you have no idea, huh? I'll give you another hint. The second number is seven. Wait, but a previous grunt told me that the first number was seven. So now you're telling me the second number is seven. Is that so? Well, whatever. Are you... Uh, yep, you are. Why haven't I been a double out then, huh? Whatever. Oh! You look strong. Okay? Let's battle! Let's battle! I'll tell you this. A hint for the password is a four-digit number, and the last number is seven. 
Like, last number is so. Okay, so as it stands as of right now, and that dude's gonna battle me, no shit, but. As it stands of right now, the code is 7. 7. Warning. Warning. Intruders in the vessel. Everyone, please respond. I don't know, I guess I don't know we're here. Nevertheless, where was I? Oh, yes. So, the code stands as 7. 7. Unknown, 7. And that's not unknown as in the Pokemon. Jeez. Anyway, is this the... Yes! Okay, this is the item I was looking for. Okay, so, bottom left-hand corner room, what have you, whatever, just... Here you get the Electrizer, or Magnarizer if you're playing Black 2. This is the item that you need to equip two Electabuzz or Mag Magmar, and trading them in order to obtain Electrovire and Magmortar, respectively. And I shall do that when we're done with this. So, it's you the announcement was warning about. Fine, I'm very strong. I'll look the other way for a child like you. Oh, thanks. Can I not talk to this guy? I want to talk to this guy. Oh, how? In all retrospect, I thought that white line I just crossed was a, like, I couldn't, it was like, you know, the thingy and just, whatever. This guy's gonna play with me. He's gonna play with a little kid on a boat. Welcome to Pokemon. Digits are the same number. Let's see. So, whew. And here I was thinking the third number, uh, you know, is in well, the fourth final number, but third in terms of the placement of which it would be in the code, would also be seven. <laughs> anyway, hello, Baker. I make bread every day. That's what I like, so I'm satisfied. But I wonder if everybody is fine with only bread and water every day. Uh, who can tell? Are you a trainer? Yes, you are. I have what you want. But if you want it, you know, don't you? That's on me. Enter the password. Do the rest by yourself. Thanks for being so kind to me. After all, I was such a dick to you. Okay. The legendary fire type Pokemon, Reshiram. Reshiram has been registered in the Pokedex. And this is the legendary electric type Pokemon, Zekrom. Yeah, I haven't seen that before, have I? Zekrom has been registered in the Pokedex. I yearned for them since I was a child, and when I saw them two years ago, I was so moved that I cried. Ah! They failed in my duty. My Pokemon were taken away. I lost a lot of Pokemon. I had stolen two. Lost a lot of Pokemon, it's stolen two. I don't know why I said it so strangely, but nevertheless! Hey there. Have you seen any intruders? Wait, you're not! The skill that made this plasma frigid. Then leave. Oh, how rude of you. 
Well, okay, I just joined Team Plasma and they won't give me a Pokemon yet. But even a guy like me has something useful to share. You need a Plasma card and a passcode. Password, passcode. And I kind of already knew that. Anyway, I did go in the store, didn't I? Yeah, because then at the end of the hallway, or end of the room, yeah, there's a creepy dude. Well, I came in and got what I needed to get. If that makes any sense. Problem is, we only know three of the four digits of the code. Well, let's see. No. <laughs> Be careful. The barriers are electrified. Okay, fine. Let's put this in. There's a device. It seems to be for entering a password. The password, which was seven seven oh seven. You're right? That was just a stroke of luck. I mean, I didn't know what the third number was, so it just put in zero. It means the first number there is. Technically, kind of. I mean, who counts one as the first number? <laughs> all, the blah, all the barriers were deactivated, and now you can see. You're an impressive trainer to have made it this far. Since you went to such trouble to come here, I'll show you something. This is... The legendary Pokemon of Ice. Its name is Kyurem. The ice missiles we fired into Opposite City were created with Kyurem's power and Team Plasma's technology. Well, you could become a threat to Team Plasma, so we will eliminate you here. Not with me around, you won't. Thanks for removing the barrier. That was a big help. <laughs> we'll simply eliminate both of you. Another match with Zinzlin and some random grunts. <gasps> it's a Pokemon! That's all I have to say. Anyway, just. Yeah, good choice. I mean, you could have gone for Cryogonal, but. Mm, you did good, you did good. Oh, but this is a problem. Ooh. Don't worry, I got you back, bro. Back, bros. So, what's next? I'll have a cryogonal. And a scolipede. Dude, I can wipe both of you out. And sure, I can wipe everyone out. Let's do it. I mean... You served your purpose, Superior, but... Okay. It actually managed to take out an Ice-type with a Grass-type move. Okay. My bad. Should've just stuck with Fire Fang. Well, whatever. I'm getting sick of looking at Superior anyway. Mine's better. Well, I sent out a decent Pokemon. And we got two fire types out. Which isn't really that useful considering we really should have had a fighting type. Fight, fight, fighting type. Fighting type. Whatever. Ugh. Wow. I honestly have no idea what the fuck's going on right now, but we are 
Not doing so well. Oh, no. Man, your team sucks. Just putting it bluntly. Oh, yeah, ra ra raise a win. That's really gonna... Oh, it's really gonna... Oh, it's really gonna do a number on. Okay, who's he gonna just be selecting anyway? We, we've all watched Hog. This is the important thing. Because otherwise, I don't know who I'm gonna be attacking. And... Fuck it? I don't know. Oh, it's like... Unpleasant isn't even gonna get a chance. Or is it? Oh, okay. Hopefully I made the right choice. Okay, doesn't matter either way. Finish it off on Pheasant. What well, makes your Pokemon so different from mine? The longer you live, the more opportunities or something. Let me fucking read it. It's still the one gripe I have with the newer generations that for some reason... Whenever, obviously, they have their little defeat speeches, it just fucking does it, it just clicks automatically. I don't have any control over it. You can do it in the old games, but now they're just like, no, why would you want to read something, huh? I'm not going to lose to Team Plasma. By the way, what is this place? That Pogamon. It's so icy. Could that be the source of the attack on Opposite City? <laughs> You're a smarter trainer than I expected. If you've got that much sense, why did you do something as dangerous as sneaking into our base? That should be obvious. I'll do whatever it takes to get back my sister's po to oh, yeah, to get my sister's Pokemon back. Are you the one who stole a Perloin and Aspersia five years ago, not being Pacific at all? I could go with more but specific. Specific. Yep. Specific. Okay. If it's just a pearl line, someone probably stole it and is using it. Why can't you understand? There are other pearl line. Why are you so fixated on this one? That's the only pearl line in the world that my late grandpa caught for my little sister. An individual's feelings. To you, that's probably a matter of great importance. But, but from the perspective of other people, it is a trifling matter indeed. Compare those feelings against the majesty of this ship. This ship itself is a device that uses the power. Yeah, uses the Pokemon Kiram's power. With this ship. This time, we will conquer Unifar. It looks like Hiram has fully recovered. We'll put the DNA splicers to good use. I'll let you take care of them, Shadow Triad. Don't mess with me. You were the one who lost. Screen mode showing the there's still more on the bottom screen as it is actually so yeah Who's a flying ship? That's all you need to know. Anyway, Team Plasma! No matter where you fly, I won't let you get away. But, it's over there anyway. Sup? Sorry I'm late. I suspect that they're flying towards the giant chasm. The giant chasm? That's deep in Route 22, right? Okay, I'm going. Ryan, you come too. That Pokemon. Kirim, was it? 
its cry sounded lonely somehow. Kirin. Team Plasma is using Kirin's power for evil? That doesn't sound like them at all. Then how should we stop Team Plasma? If Kirin is, like Drayden said, a legendary dragon type Pokemon, the only one who could stand up to it are Reshiram or Zekrom. But neither of them is here right now. Where are the ones the legendary Yeah. Where are the ones the legendary Pokemon recognizes heroes anyway? I guess I just have to find one of them. Very well. Well, that does it for this episode of Tony Geek's Pokemon White 2 Adventure. Sadly, I'm gonna have to tr backtrack because I don't have any Pokemon with fly on me, so. Also, I'm going to trade my Electabuzz and hopefully get an Electrovire out of it. So, I'll do all that. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Tone Geeks Pokemon White to Adventure. See you guys then. Oh, I can't wait to get to an Electrovire. <laughs>